in Senegal. We travel to the Adamsville Recreation Center in Atlanta, Georgia to experience the 8th annual African J. Lee Dance and Drum Festival firsthand. J. Lees are West African historians, storytellers, praise singers, poets, or musicians. This West African group is commonly called a Dune Dune Orchestra, and it's led by this rope-tuned goblet drum. The Atlanta African Dance and Drum Festival is held each year on one of the last two weeks of July. Ayatoro Kamal is the director of the African J. Lee Cultural Institute. We are part of a community of drummers and dancers. So actually a lot of us travel to different cities to conferences like this. So we have people who are artists that are born throughout the continent of Africa. So there are artists here from Guinea, Mali, Ivory Coast, Senegal. So they come, actually they, most of them live in the U.S., but they're from those places. So they've been studying and training all of their lives. So they come to conferences like this and teach the people to do dance and do song. So it's a way to continue the traditions of Africa right here in Atlanta. I play the drums as part of what they call the Dunun Orchestra. So you have Dununba, Songba, Kinkini. So I play those. In addition to playing djembe, in addition to a little bit of sabar, a little bit of kutiro. So a few different family of African instruments I play. Well, the conference started because there was a void in the city. There's a lot of dancers in the city. Atlanta is a mecca for activity and life. So why not create a situation where people can come from other cities to be here with us? Because there's already ongoing classes that happen here. So having a conference is just the next step to that. So it just came from filling a void. And myself, in terms of drumming, I think it's always been in my DNA. I've been a musician all my life, so this is just a continuation of that. Atito, the African dance instructor, stresses the importance of drumming to African dance. The drummer leads the dancer using rhythm cues. You know, back in the day, um, when we didn't have no telephone back in the day, the village people, they playing drum and to, to communicate each other. Drum is like you speaking somebody, you know, the dance go with the drums, you know. That's why every time when I see the, the new, new generation when they're playing drum, I told them, like, don't just beat the drum. You're speaking, you know, whatever drum play, so we, we, we do the same step, you know. So dance and drum, they go together. African dance is peace. It brings peace. You know, sometimes you see when the people go to nightclub, they finish with fighting, gun stuff. Africa, you see, you see this festival, it's going to finish. We can do a seven day. Nobody's going to fight. It brings people together. It brings the community together. Everybody. You know, African dance mean, you know, it's a peace, you know. Whoever do African dance and he's hungry person, that means his spirit is not good. When you come to African dance class, after you finish take African dance class or African drum class, you feel good, like how? Almost a couple of hours, you know. So I think it's for peace, you know. That's why I can tell people when you come to dance class, just put your stretch outside, your, your if you're not happy, just Bring, leave everything outside, come here and enjoy yourself. It's exercise, because a lot of people take an African dance class for different reasons. Some people take for exercise, some people take for, to, to be a professional, to learn the dance and go show to their dance company. And some people learn to go teach in the school. You know, everybody come for a different reason, you know. And uh, we, we're teaching them. <laughs> the music that we're playing is hundreds of years, if not thousands of years old. So to actually be playing something that people long, long ago were playing, that also is a good feeling. Mm -hmm. Eric is the lead djembe fola, or djembe player, in the ensemble. He started playing drums when he was five. He comes from a long line of drummers and found a consistent outlet to play within the African J. Lee Cultural Institute. Before I born, the rhythm already exists, you know what I mean? Don't. It's been long, you know, hundreds of years, you know, a boy come see the same rhythm because they, it's a generation, generation, you know, different, you know, different rules and different rhythm. Don't, this rhythm, I don't, I'm not want to lie on you, man. I know it's been a long time play. Because even a lot of the music that we play is connected to different activities in life. So you have music for the farmers, you have music for children who come up to a certain age, you have music for weddings. 
you have music for birthday parties, you have music for so many different things. So to be able, some people when there's certain music that they hear, then they automatically know what occasion is happening. Whether it's a rites of passage, whether it's a wedding, or whether it's something else. So to be able to play that music and connect to it is very inspiring. There are a lot of options to join in and learn these unique dances and rhythms. West African dancing and drumming usually means a celebration of some sort. Yeah, you need an ensemble. As soon as you got an ensemble, now you can communicate with the dancer now. Because you know you got a rhythm, you got a you got a foundation behind you. Now you ready to speak to the dancers. You ready to communicate. Like every step they, they they're trying to do, you got to match that. You got to match that to give them, you know, to give them the break, to give them, you know, after this break, after this break. Don't, don't the communication got to be the whole orchestra, you know, the, everybody. You know. Drum is a part of my life now. You know, I've been playing so long. It's part of my life now. It's, I'm, a, I'm 41 years old. Next month, the August 8th, I'm going to be 42. So basically my whole life, you know, that's what I do. I, you know, I performance, travel all over the world, playing drum. So basically that's what I do, you know. I, it making me, it, it making me, you know, happy. It making me like, it's a part of my life, you know, because I've been, that's what I've been doing you know, my whole life. Without drummer, dancer can't dance, you know. When you're dancing by yourself in the subway and the street, people think you're crazy. But when music playing, you dance, I say, oh, it's beautiful. So with our drummer, we ain't nobody. So we all work together. So this one, you said, thank you to them. You know, thank you, thank you.